So this is the Jones Bow HX6200D Black. Um, I know there is a white version of this cooler, but I got this for a good price. And I pretty much just wanted this one so I can see how it performs. Um, I actually have the Noctua um, Ghost Edition of this uh, NHL12 um, cooler, and that's actually the, the seems to be one of the favorites for this case. Um, anyways, I didn't have the white power supply at the time, so that's why I decided to kind of get this one. Um, but I do think that maybe at some point, um, maybe I could get more white parts, to, uh, kind of pure this, this build out a little bit. Um, again, this is for my Persephone build, uh, that I'm, I'm doing right now. Um, the other thing that I'm going to throw into this is this. Um, I got this Gigabyte uh, GeForce RTX 4060 card. Uh, this is an overclocked, low-profile, 8, 8 gig uh, of RAM uh, video card. I, I like that it's the 40 series card, um, and I kind of wanted to... It, it's really, really tiny, so I kind of wanted to throw that into this and, and see how it is. Um, my feeling is that it will not have a lot of heat, um, or at least uh, produce a lot of heat, so it's probably great for a small form factor uh, case. Okay, so I uh, took everything out of its box for the, the cooler. Um, so let me kind of show you the top of the box here. So this kind of gives you a little bit more detail. While opening the box, uh, I thought this was pretty funny. Uh, it's for your real needs. So uh, there you go. But the, um, the box itself, you can kind of see here, um, it advertises that it uh, has a TDP of 200 watts. Um, you can also see some more details over here on, on the side of the box. And I'll give you a quick scroll of what's there. Um, this is the white version. Uh, it looks like maybe they just produced the box and, uh, for the same black and white version. Um, and there's the other side of the box there. Yeah. Um, so what's neat about this cooler that I thought um, was neat was just kind of the design of it. If you, if you take a look here, um, it's pretty, it's got like a pretty huge heat sink um, and it's trying to maximize, I think, the volume of, of space that you have around that, that socket and um, kind of really uh, puts a lot of fins um, to be able to dissipate a lot of heat. Plus there's six heat pipes here. Um, and the, the heat pipes, uh, I, I think that will also kind of help really draw out all of the, the, the heat. So um, there is that. And um, I, I was looking at this um, when I was looking at the John's Bow V11 and the N1 Mini ITX cases. Uh, the biggest lure was that um, it would kind of pull the air into the case as opposed to uh, the Noctua, which I think blows the air outwards from the from the CPU and out of the case. Um, so this cooler itself is um, 63 millimeters in height. And um, again, given that there's this huge chunk of fins and um, the, the, the number of heat pipes, it, it really does seem like it, it possibly could dissipate a lot of heat. Uh, much more heat than than possibly the 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 Noctua cooler. Now the fan does seem like it might be noisy. Um, who knows? Uh, I think the idea would be, I may end up trying to replace that fan with a uh, slim Noctua fan to see if I could. Uh, I, I want to kind of see um, how noisy this fan is, and then maybe even see performance. Uh, compare this fan with maybe the Noctua slim fan and put it on there. Um, so again, yeah, I think that this possibly could di displace, you know, 200 watts of heat. And given that the uh, AMD chip is uh, only going to um, produce around 65 watts, um, it, or at least it's advertised as a 65 watt TDP. Uh, so this cooler being 200 would be very overkill for, for a chip like that. 
Um, so it would give me plenty of headroom if I wanted to overclock the, uh, that chip and, and make it run a little faster. <clears throat> um, the other thought was that if I end up swapping that chip out for that 5800 um, X3D, this cooler could also work for that. And um, given that the 5800 X3D is about 105 watts TDP, this still would be overkill for that for that chip. Um, the, 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 the things that I like about this though, is if you take a look, they kind of, I, I guess, put cutouts and, and I'll probably show you this um, or, or uh, when I put this in, but they, they have cutouts in uh, certain places where it gives the memory and even the um, SSD uh, clearance. So that way if I possibly want to swap out the memory um, for faster RAM versus slower RAM, or, uh, slower or, or more capacity RAM, um, I could do that without having to remove the cooler. Um, and then same thing, if I wanted to swap out the SSD, I could do the same. So in the box, uh, you can kind of see it kind of comes with some mounting hardware for Intel and AMD. Um, just a manual there. Uh, what's interesting is they give you the uh, Thermal Grizzly, let's see here, Thermal Grizzly uh, Thermal Paste. So that's pretty high quality. They give you the spatula as well. Uh, mounting plate um, and then various, you know, bits and pieces for uh, fastening. Um, and then this, I believe, is like a you can take a look at that. It's like a tool that you can use to kind of wrench, I believe, the nuts into place. Um, and then this is, it looks like some sort of washer, yeah, or spacers. So uh, that is the um, John's Bow HX6200 uh, D. Okay, for the um, AMD uh, mounts, it looks like you use these longer silver ones. Uh, I think the idea is to pay attention to the angle um, of these pieces right here, making sure that they face in. And then there's four screws, one, two, uh, three, and four right there. Okay, so I removed the uh, riser cable and then the uh, original mounting hardware and the back plate and I ran into a snag. Um, let's see here. So maybe the best way to show this is you can kind of see that uh, the way this cooler is made, um, it only goes one way. If, if, I, if I were to take this cooler and go this way, Um, you can see here, it kind of, uh, bumps this, uh, SSD heatsink and it's kind of at a bad angle and it won't, won't actually sit flush. And then the other thing that happens is that if you go the other way, it fits the socket much better, um, just all around on the sides, um, opening the, the SSD um, there. But if you look here, you can see how it's not sitting flush and straight. Um, it's a little bit at an angle. And then the, the, the primary reason why is that these uh, memory sticks, <laughs> they're a little too tall. So I need to actually get some lower profile memory. So I guess I'm not going to be using my Vipers on this. Um, I could probably remove the heat sinks, but I think I'm going to find a different solution uh, to see if I can kind of make this work.